Okay, so I'm going to do a one-year review on the Duluth Trading Wild Board Moccasin Boots. Uh, I also call them a half boot. It's a slip-on, no-lace type of outdoor capable workwear footwear that's really easy to put on and take off, especially for larger, heavier, less flexible people who are still looking at being physically active. One of the things I've run into with inexpensive shoes and boots they won't last very long for me. Uh, I've gotten some of the lower end stuff at uh, Big Five Sports. They, they, I, I can turn some of that stuff in on a 30 day warranty. It wears so quickly. On the other hand, when I've looked at really high end stuff, I, I don't see the value in spending $200 on a pair of boots, especially when most of the expensive ones are the type of thing that you're you're going to spend 15 minutes lacing up every day, and I'm not I'm not out doing a big logger thing, so I want something a little more multi-purpose that I can wear and still be physically active in. That's where I discovered these uh, boar moccasins from Wild uh, from Duluth Trading. They also have what they call the the half boot, which is what this is. And so basically, what you've got here is some elastic. You've got a solid front, no lace, but here's what sets these apart is they have real boot soles, they're real hiking shoe soles, real ankle support, although kind of doing this with a lot of hiking and backpacking might not, might not go so well. I have hiked a lot and taken a lot of walks and spent a lot of time on my feet in these types of shoes, but what happens is they'll kind of widen out over time and they will... I'll be okay, comfortable for driving, standing around, a little bit of uh, uh, limited work, but for a lot of time hiking and walking, they'll kind of loosen up at the bottom and not be as good. For short term, when they're relatively new, they're pretty good for that because they have real lug soles, real outdoor capable stuff. So this is really good off-grid, homesteader, convenience wear, where you can still go outside, do some work with these shoes, kick them off when you get inside it's pretty easy it's not like those big logging boots which lace all the way up to your knees and and it's a 15 minute ordeal to put them on or take them off uh, basically you, you kind of get your foot in there pull on a tab and uh, you tug them on, on in place and take them off you simply kick them out from the bottom you notice they stick out a little bit at the back you just kick that out and so they're pretty good for that type of a thing the other thing is very heavy duty, solid. It's not a waffle core, hollow core type of sole. So if you're heavier or you carry heavier loads around, the sole of the shoe is going to hold up. To see what they look like about, you know, let's say, a year, year and a half into heavy use, this is about what I end up with. I end up with a wear pattern over here. Um, this is... Uh, Let's see, the other wear pattern and the other one's going to be a little bit more because that's my driving foot. But you'll see a wear pattern here, which is common to anybody who's got a uh, uh, military type stride that are walk. And then you'll see this usually comes from standing still, shifting your weight a lot, uh, stepping side to side type stuff, which I, you'll do if you're, you're working on things. Uh, it, it's kind of like what you call a contractor shoe wear pattern. It's you, you have a lot of people stepping side to side, so you see wear there. Uh, the fail point on cheaper shoes is usually, for me, going to be a wear pattern right here um, because they'll be hollow. But these are solid, so we, we really don't have a wear through here. We've got a wear through here. Uh, at, at the at the actual walking and stepping points a lot like on a higher quality shoe or boot I have blown through other shoes and boots in the time period that I own these and They're now relegated to you know, obviously some painting indoor type work stuff uh, There's not a whole lot of tread left and they're still somewhat usable hence go get a new pair so if you're shopping for convenience shoes and boots this holiday season, I, I'm getting this Duluth trading stuff because I like it. It's strong. It's heavy duty. I'm a repeat buyer. I'm not receiving anything out of uh, endorsing these. 
But if you're a larger, heavier person or you're buying some footwear for a larger, heavier person who wants to be physically active and needs footwear that's convenient, easy to put on and take off and going to hold up, uh, I would recommend these Duluth Trading Half Boots and buy them when they're in season when they're actually being made because they're not available all the time.